1,500 fault line stretches over 120 miles across the central United States, running through parts of Arkansas, Illinois, Missouri, and Tennessee. It was discovered after a series of intense earthquakes rocked the region from 1811 to 1812, which were among the most powerful in American history. The first one came on December 16, 1811, a magnitude of 8.1 on the Richter scale, the second on January 23, 1812, at 7.8, and the third on February 7, 1812, at as much as 8.8. The tremors were so strong, they reportedly caused the Mississippi River to flow backward temporarily. Modern seismology has shown that the New Madrid Fault is still active. It's a network of deep-seated faults that pose a significant earthquake risk to the central United States, despite being in a region not typically associated with seismic activity. Because of its potential for large-scale quakes, local governments and emergency services have developed extensive earthquake preparation plans. The risk to densely populated areas like Memphis and St. Louis makes vigilance essential. Curiously, there were a cycle of total solar eclipses crossing the area in 1806 and a few months prior to the first quake in 1811, similar to as we've seen in 2017 and recently in 2024. While there's no mainstream scientific evidence that this correlates to an uptick in seismic activity, we do know that we are in a period of heightened solar activity and there have been many studies correlating solar flaring to seismic activity. Today, the fault is a focus of intense study as scientists seek to understand its mechanisms and predict future activity.